My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spine. We're going to be playing the Silent on A20. <clears throat> Don't like that I have to turn that off every single time if I want to have it active ever. Can I turn it off in here? No, it don't look like it. All right. Uh, enemies in X3 combats have one HP is always a very appealing one for me. There is not the possibility of getting two elites with this, but it's very likely I get one. Let's me take a bunch of question mark spaces in the early. Because I don't have to rely on pick up a card. That said, I will pick up the flying knee just for some damage. And remove a strike. Flying knee just replaces a strike there. Take the money from this space. And Vajra from this one. Ooh, baby. Shame not to be able to take the apotheosis here. Uh, okay, so accuracy. I mean, Terra Quick Slash makes a lot of sense initially, just for the damage sake. fine. So now I can get two upgrades as well. Let's get a Neutralize and a Terra upgraded. Oh, beautiful. Gambling chip. At the start of each combat, discard any number of cards and then draw that many. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start building into a discard deck now that I have the ability to make sure that discards trigger from turn one. Because I don't really have any theming yet, so yeah, let's try something. Question card, future card wards have one additional card to choose from. I do want to get another upgrade, just because I want to get uh, my sneaky strike upgraded for the extra damage here. Okay. Finisher, Catalyst, Flying Knee, Dagger Spray. Well, Dagger Spray is good AoE and has double bonus from Vajra, so I think just because we're missing AoE, that's a good idea to take. I probably shouldn't throw away a Senders Bane on turn one. Yep, I was hoping to get the zero cost Terra there. It's the only way that turn kind of made sense. Oh, beautiful. Oh, what a good first floor for the Silent. My gosh. All these smooth stones started to come up with one Dex as well. Uh. Backflip and dash are both pretty good. Backflip the card draw, dash just for being a single large card that affects intensely. I think we go for the more defensive of the options though, though. Let's get the dagger spray upgraded. AoE is going to be incredibly important next floor. Remove another card from the deck. Yeah, getting a strike out of this deck at this point is also really good. <clears throat> just to help balance things back towards having enough defense. Very glad I didn't get punished there by immediately drawing the Terra. That would have immediately proven my point about what I should not have done. Uh, concentrate. Discard three cards. Gain two energy. Unfortunately, we can't really support that. Probably take the backflip here. That steroid potion could actually be really impactful on the right turn. Specifically in this final fight against this big ol' enemy. Good. Very early Terra. Great to see that. Okay. I want another very aggressive hand, but god, those are going to be hard to find. Oh, I mean, we have filtered out a lot of non-aggressive cards here. Ideally, we draw just multi-attacks and attacks and attacks and attacks. Nah, that's not much. 22, 10, probably about 10, uh, sorry, 10 more? No, 5 more from the application of the steroid potion, so 27, 37. Thirty-seven on this split. It can be better, but god, we're not that likely to draw into a much better split. That said, we're only hitting two times this turn. We may as well hold the steroid potion for a bit. Fingers crossed we draw the dagger spray. Good draw. Alright. 
So we got away with upgrading before this combat. Thank heck. And after this boss, uh, corpse explosion or the knife. There's glass knife. Um, adrenaline after image. Are either of those more important? Probably not. Glass knife is just single hit large amount of damage, right? So upgraded, this is 12 damage twice, 13 damage twice because of Vajra, right? So 26 against the target. Uh, but it's actually 39 if they have Terra already applied to them. 39 for one energy is a hell of a lot. I hopefully no need to remind you. Uh, yeah, we'll take the glass knife, I think. Damn it. This is something I am a little, uh, a little sore about. Wristblade is entirely useless in this deck. Like, it hits neutralize, but that's about it. I do want the extra energy pretty badly because we have the two backflips, so we have the extra draw. But the enemies dealing extra damage is one of the worst downsides that we could have for this. It's enemies dealing extra damage and... Runic Dome, probably at this point, just because we're pretty aggressive without as much defense as we might otherwise like. Necronomic on this floor turns everything around for us instantaneously. Double casting the... Let's keep that one, actually. Ouch. You had to hit him four times to put him on the ground, so that was just really rough. All of them having plus one strength as well is just... Ouch. Ooh, Dagger Spray. Great pickup. So I can weaken one of them and put the other one on the ground. Well, that's pretty clear, which I do then. Wait, did I over hit that target? Oh, because Dagger Spray hit each of them twice. Never mind, I could have hit the front target there. Oh my god. That's dreadful. I'm used to having to account for the birds differently in this mode, so I accidentally psyched myself out. Ugh, awful. Uh, Sierra's pretty good. Big single target damage. Hmm. Yeah, just throw all of those pretty garbage cards there. I have used something that will make that card effective this time. Uh, I mean, 12 twice? Not lethal. But I'll get as close as I can at the moment. Because somehow I feel like the lethal's not so far away. Dagger throw is an enabler for what we're trying to do. Offer Ring of the Snake or the Oldest New Stone for the Loth. No. Each of those are more useful for me. So I do want to put the frontliner on the ground here. I suspect I actually just kill the frontliner here. Uh, and I'll even Ancient Potion, because I do cast skills in this combat. Particularly important ones as well. Aww. That's really annoying. One slightly better ordering of those turns there, and we would have killed the enemy before we had to take that hit. Predator, Eviscerate, Sneaky Strike, Phantasmal Killer. Eviscerate is obviously really good in our opening hand, just because we can throw away enough things to make it effective, but it's really difficult to activate with any of these other cards at the moment. Uh, we need more discard available in the deck. Predator is just a really, really good card, so we may want to just take that because it's better than the other options. Sneaky Strikes on sale as well. Membership card, 50% discount on all products. I mean, that'll apply for the rest of the game as well, so... 
Let's take that and then get another strike out of this deck. We've got to make sure we're discarding a card every single hand at this point. Otherwise, we're going to have a lot of problems. Uh, so we do have the ability to go three rests in a row here. I think we'll actually avoid Elite Sis Floor. And take the gift of these three rows. Eight extra damage, 12 if the enemy is vulnerable. That is a desperate, desperately needed upgrade card. I mean, if I don't have to dismal, uh, dismal, uh, destroy the smaller one first, I won't. Uh, prepared is actually probably a pretty good card for us, just for consistently hitting those sneaky strikes. It's much better one upgraded, though. Uh, Skewer also needs that same treatment. Let her open it. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. Great. Now I feel like it's probably our defensive cards that need it. I do want different defensive cards, but I don't have that many different defensive cards, so... That works. And then I play another one of these, just to deal with 5 damage. Big old glass knife for the kill. Acrobatics is a lot of draw as well as a discard. Very, very, very powerful for what we're trying to do. Uh, now that we have all of these cards in the deck, we're desperately looking for Tactician and Reflex. A little sad not to be finding them commonly. An Energy Relic after this boss is also really good for us. <clears throat> I don't know if this deck will function. I don't often build discard decks in high... Well, high ascension. I was about to say high ascension. Oh, no, it's not really high ascension. It is the absolute highest ascension that exists. Wrinkle Pillow, whenever you rest, heal an additional 15 HP. Probably going to make use of that immediately, actually. Eh. Didn't kill the enemy that turn, but... I've got a good feeling. Calculate the gamble. Tactician! All out attack is... Okay. Uh, okay, Tactician is probably the biggest thing here just because of the amount of draw that we have in the deck. So we can match our draw with energy usage. And then I think Tactician might need an upgrade here rather than resting for full HP. Because I don't get time to upgrade Tactician at the start of the next floor anyway. So I'll be generating a power potion here as well. Ooh, okay, hang on. I guess we throw away terror as soon as possible unless the power potion gives us the ability to poison the enemy. Draw one card and discard one card each turn is pretty great. All right, I'm going to use the attack potion for the possibility that it changes the enemy's effect. No, it's not going to do that. All right, fine. Um... Finisher doesn't seem like an incredible idea here. But it's going to be good this turn. Okay, just get that back immediately and then... Another glass knife, predator, and then finisher for a you know, decent amount of damage. I'll leave that... Uh, the terror in there just so that I have the ability to knock out one of these targets really, really quickly, I think. Yeah, that's going to be the only card we don't want to play here at all. Huh. I think I'd probably go Dagger Throw to hit the back line. And then double defend. So there goes my Glass Knife on the front. Ugh, taking a hell of a lot of hits here. Ooh, yikes. So we 
do get to kill the backline of minion this turn, but yeah, we're just not going to be able to defend through the incoming damage here. So we've finally discarded Tactician. We actually got that off once this combat. I'm very pleased. So only eight for the frontliners, so defend, 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 and then murder. <clears throat> All good. Let's got one more card, probably a backflip here. And now we get to die. So if I had have rested, by the way, I would have healed 30% of my HP. Mm. Blocking for 18 this turn, so 32. Yeah, I would have I would have survived this turn had I had healed. And I suspect I also would have gotten to this turn even if I hadn't appealed. Oh, sorry, even uh I suspect I would have gotten to this turn uh regardless of whether or not I upgraded tactician or not. Uh I was expecting that I was gonna be comboing off with tactician much more commonly than I was, I think. A uh, large amount of what happened there is I expected the deck was a lot thinner than it was. I really needed to keep an eye on exactly how bloated it was getting. Because my valuation of Tactician is directly related to how much value I expect to get out of Tactician, right? That just makes sense. I expected to get more value out of it because I thought the deck was a bit smaller. So I need to be better about keeping an eye on that. <laughs> Which is an insane thing for me to be saying, frankly. Just shows how much my playstyle has changed. Not that it doesn't necessarily have the opportunity to change back. I do feel like uh, part of the way that I keep this game interesting for myself is I change my playstyle over time. And also in Higher Ascension, I've been kind of persuaded to add more cards to my deck because of the increased effect of trashing effects on enemy minions and elites. All right, random common. Yeah, one dex every combat's pretty good. I will go for this early shot, literally just so I can try and find a aggressive card. Pretty great opening turn there, actually. The louses can be real annoying as the silent. <sighs> Endless Agony, Dagger Spray, and Blade Dance. Well, the first thing I want to do is take up the Dagger Spray so that I have some AoE in the deck. Blade Dance does give me the ability to build around something, but it's not as powerful. Ooh, yes! I will take Pain into my deck here, and then remove Pain. And in doing so, I picked up Warp Tongs. At the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of the combat. Right. It's like the world's weakest, least reliable version of Apotheosis, but at the very least, it plays itself. And as you upgrade more cards in your deck, it gets better because now it has fewer things to target, so it's more reliably targeting... Uh, well, I guess it's not necessarily more reliably targeting cards that matter to you, unless you've upgraded base cards as well. Deadly Poison. Cool. Uh, dodge and Roll is also really good here, but... Deadly Poison gives me an actual win condition against boss, uh, bosses, sorry, uh, against elites. My god, we prevented all damage in that opening turn. That is absolutely insane considering both of them were using their largest attack. That said, it required us having a opening hand that was almost exclusively attacks, neutralize, and survivor. So it does reveal something about why I'm usually frustrated in that kind of a situation. Take a dodge and roll here. I do want to basically get as many upgrades as I possibly can this floor. And this elite to the left path is the best way to get that done. So I want to wait as many turns before I wake up the enemy here as possible. If that's possible. Nice, and it will be. Uh, just because it's really... Upgrade the deadly poison. Oh my god. Wild. Just because it's really important for me to get as many cards upgraded uh, as possible using those warped tongs. Uh, yeah, six damage is worth two here just because of this whole race situation we're in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not guaranteed to draw deadly poison soon enough to actually be pleased with it. All 
All right. One more turn to defend. That's not a bad defensive turn. Hell yeah. That is a very, very good log of all kill right there. Tori, whenever you receive five or less unblocked attack damage, reduce it to one, as well as poison stab and prepared. Uh, do I take poison stab just as a amplifier to deadly poison? I don't want to. It does make me better against the next combat, uh, the next elite combat being a, uh, a gremlin knob though is the only consideration I'm really making here. For that same consideration, though, I'm upgrading Neutralize. Oh. Do I really want to drop a Bronze Thorns here? We do have an enemy at the end of the floor that actually multi-hits a lot of the time, so we'll hold on to the Liquid Bronze there. So if I weaken the frontliner, 25% less, they'll attack for 7, 7 against 12. They leave me with 5 block, which means that the sentry in the backliner only hits me for 5, and Tori reduces that. Incredible. So we'll only be taking 1 damage this turn. We've taken 1 damage 2 turns in a row now. I don't want those extra weaknesses in our deck. Um, I'm going to play the dodge roll this turn, because I think I can actually probably slow roll this now. Rather than just launching out extra attacks all of the time. Well, thought I could slow the roll this. Actually, thankfully, I played dodge and roll. Otherwise, I was going to be taking damage this turn, right? Instead, here, I only take one damage. Thank you, Tori, for doing some ridiculously heavy lifting this combat. Excellent. Mm, not super likely to draw lethal. That'll do it, though. Had to have the ability to remove the artifact as well. Regal Pillow, whenever you rest, heals additional 15 HP, as well as Die, 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 Acrobatics, and Multiple Stab. Uh, the reason to take Die, Die, Die is literally just to have one powerful AoE card in the deck, but we already have the Dagger Spray. Um, and we're obviously naturally incentivized to take Corpse Explosion, so I suspect maybe that's not our best decision. Against either of the other bosses at the end of this floor, I probably would take the die, die, die. I'm a little concerned about acrobatics as well. I think I skip. Toxic Egg, whenever you add a skill card to your deck, upgrade it. Well, now we're going to be adding a bunch of skill cards, hopefully. Uh, rough. So I can deal nine damage to a single target, set them up for a kill next turn. Fine. At least I'm only taking one damage. And again, only one damage. God, this Tori is doing such ridiculously heavy lifting. What fun. Goodbye, Laos. Hello to Reflex. Pretty upgraded, though. This deck doesn't have much of an archetype. I could try and shift into a discards, uh, discard build. I'm taking the reflex. This is a little bit of a dumb idea, but I'm not getting more poison right now, so might as well work with what I have. Oh, never mind. Another deadly poison and leg sweep. Well, we're going to pivot back now. Uh... Can Sneaky Strike? If I take the Sneaky Strike, I'm, what, committing to a discard... A discard... Poison deck, kind of? But Sneaky Strike isn't even what I want as a payoff in a discard poison deck, right? Yeah, so I don't take that. Um, and removing cards from a deck does actually make that deck better at doing discard stuff, because there's fewer cards between you and your discard synergy cards. Take the dagger spray upgrade just because of how harsh next floor can be. I mean, tools are the trade off to this boss. Maybe that's enough. Had to be attacking for six, not five, huh? Punk. 
energy potion as well as ooh, pre upgraded backflip but it's up against noxious fumes it, it can't beat noxious fumes it can't noxious fumes is a win condition unto itself especially if i now just stack defensive cards in this deck Really? Yeah, exactly. That's how this turn is supposed to go. Thank you very much. I honestly don't need to do anything but defend at this point. For that same reason, uh, the uh, bronze thorns i was thinking of using this combat there's no reason to the enemy is already definitely going to die we have our inevitability on our side just a couple defense and we've got it goodbye guardian the thing of this deck gets the less reliable and early Noxious Fumes becomes as a win condition. <clears throat> so I should keep an eye on that. Alchemize. Pre-upgraded. I mean, pre-upgraded? That's pretty appealing. Yeah, I'll take it. Hopefully I don't live to regret this. Hell, I'll even take the speed potion actually here. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not regretting it yet. Uh... Yeah, we take Velvet Choker here. Let's just play more cards in a single turn. That Reflex is just a bad pickup. I can remove it. Thankfully, I haven't Ultra Committed by also taking something like a Underhanded Strike. Sneaky Strike, sorry. It used to be called Underhanded, though. Astrolabe would actually be pretty good here as well, but we need the extra energy, especially because of the Leg Sweep and a lot of the other cards that we intend on picking up for this deck, considering we'll take every copy of Leg Sweep, uh, every copy of Footwork, every copy of Backflip, uh, pretty much every single copy of Corpse Explosion and Bouncing Flask. All of these are incentivizing us to have extra energy. There's the four elites on the left-hand side. I'm actually really interested in taking them out. You know what? I'm not going to do that. I'll take the early path that has three question marks, a shop, a rest, a question mark, a rest, then another rest, then at the late, very, very late, two elite. So I get the time to upgrade all of the cards that I might necessarily want. I'll play the speed potion because I've got to remember that I should be playing a potion every single combat at this point. Because <clears throat> I do have an alchemize in the deck, so I'm filling back up on those potions. Found our way back to the Alchemize. Ooh, Ghost in a Jar. Great pick up there. Uh, there's also a Dex Potion and a Catalyst. Well, Catalyst is obviously coming with us. Cloak and Dagger is a little bit uh, bad because of the Toxic Egg, unfortunately. So we'll drop the Catalyst and probably drop Energy Potion for the Dex Potion. Dex Potion actually matters more to us. Okay, um... Enchiridion is a pretty good pickup, so is Nilri's Codex. Sure. Necronomicon, I probably would have just not taken. I don't want either of those more than the things I already have. Thank you. <clears throat> Double defend, take down a single target. There we go. We want one target down as soon as possible. So we poison the weakest target on the field. In terms of HP. And the strongest target I weakened because I figured they're going to be around for the longest. So weakening them and keeping them weak for longer is good better. So this enemy takes nine damage and then... So this enemy is already dead and no other damage is coming in this turn. So I can just... Allocate all of my damage to the target that's actually buffing. 
Well, Storm Steel just puts everyone on the ground. Everyone? No, it doesn't. It only puts one bird on the ground. Alchemize. An average Alchemize is not better than what we currently have available to us. That is to say, an average Alchemize is not better than a Dex Potion or a Ghost in the Shell. And unfortunately, since it doesn't bring up a reward screen, I can't decide after playing Alchemize. I have to commit and get rid of something good in order to possibly get something good. Eh, not worth it at that point for me. This deck could have gone a completely different direction, clearly. Oh, M-Ship card. Uh, there is, however, Bouncing Flask and Piercing Whale here. Can I afford both? 88, 88, 50, 138. I'm too short of being able to get both. Uh, Piercing Whale is better defensively and Bouncing Flask is better offensively. But I don't think Bouncing Flask is needed when I have two Deadly Poisons and the Noxious Fumes already in the deck. As long as I defend for long enough. So I think I take uh, Piercing Whale for that reason. One reason to take Bouncing Flask would be up against bosses. I need the ability to stack a lot of poison on the target very, very quickly. So that then I can catalyze it. But bosses are also a much easier fight for us than standard hallway fights. So we should probably fix the thing that's broken first. Press there to get back to full. Remove card from my deck? Sure. Uh, let's get another strike out of there. Okay. We find bronze scales at the start of each combat. Gain three thorns. Pretty good for us overall, actually. Let's upgrade the dungeon roll and then probably survivor as well. Footwork. Oh my god, we almost had the ability to buy that footwork as well. Oh, I wish I had a little, just a two more gold by that point in time. Could have been so good. Uh, we'll take the Dex Potion because this fight's probably going to be pretty long. Mm. I'm going to take Tools of the Trade just to cycle me through my deck a lot faster. Uh, things just got a little bit terrifying for me. In that I can't kill the minions on the board, so next turn I'm taking damage myself. Uh, escape plan is a bad idea for us. Die, die, die. I mean, if we're weak, die, die, die is bad, so hopefully I don't draw next turn. But So this turn looks like it's probably going to be my Ghost in a Jar. Ooh, oh, Piercing Whale. Oh, I'm just going to sneak right by you here with a Piercing Whale. Uh, if I'm fine with taking three damage this turn, and I am... Then I can get two deadly poisons out on the back line. No, I don't have much high cost in the rest of my deck, so I don't take don't take bullet time here. We'll take blur though. Fine card. Oh, it's not even three damage, it's just one because of Tori. Of course. Put another die, die, die in the deck, and then you've summoned, and now, one sec. And now I have knocked down. Think we're uh, pretty much done here. Ooh, especially if we draw that catalyst. I mean, come on. You'd buy Gremlin Leader and hello to Bag of Marbles at the start of combat. Apply one vulnerable to all enemies as well as Amenivel. Okay. Use a speed potion this turn just so I can alchemize. Eh, alchemize and wasn't pretty happy with it. But that said, the speed potion also did defend me against the incoming damage, so I'm totally fine with the result of that using a speed potion there. Damn it! Really? That's super frustrating. Put a heal hook in the deck. Yeah, that'll just draw a card. It's fine. Hmm. 
It's only one incoming damage this turn. Uh, rest of the deck is not that good, so I don't take bullet time in there. Atlanta is also not going to damage us this turn. Great to see. Awesome. Even despite the heal? No, Frontliner is still alive. Damn it. Very little needs to be committed to kill them, though. Alright, so... Automaton. I mean, I can just leave Noxious Fumes to butter up the Automaton for us. I don't need to worry about having my potions specifically be potions that apply debuffs for the sake of the Automaton, which is oftentimes the right strategy if you've got a certain build going against an Automaton. Obviously, we'll take that Catalyst. My god. Don't! don't! Really? You're really going to do that? Both Catalysts in the opening hand. No poison. Pretty much the worst that can be. I'll take a burst here because bursting a deadly poison or some such is also really good for us. I'd love to play Piercing Whale this turn, but I don't need to. And it is so good that it's important that I wait until it is the right card to play. All right, I'm going to Ghost in a Jar this turn. Should have played the Fumes next. <sighs> Forgot about the double duplication there. That's entirely my bad for that as well. All right. <clears throat> Thankfully, due to Tori, we don't actually get slaughtered there. This one's a little less helpful. Thankfully, we've got the kill, though. Whew! Back preparation, the start of combat, draw two additional cards. Pretty good for us. Another dodge and roll, also really good for us. I mean, this deck is getting all the defense it needs. It's getting offense as well. Not... Maybe all of what it needs there, but it's getting some. We can alchemize this thing. Ooh, nice. Nice pick up that. Leg sweep's really good. Singular giant block cards, great for us. Uh, yeah, I'll use the next potion in this combat, sure. Can hardly be argued there's a much better place for it. Looks like a bang. 14 damage against one of these chump targets. Pretty good for us. There's no other catalyst in the deck, so do I want to really get the bronze automaton to 15 yet? Probably not. Probably hold off just a little on that. Go for a leg sweep. Hmm. Again, I'm just going to prioritize the full block. Ooh, malaise. That's going to be taken by the orb now. Backline bronze orb, that is. Enjoy that malaise, friend. Eventually, they'll all just die and deposit these cards in my hand, and I will be laughing then. Hmm. 
That kills the back line, saving us from taking that hit as well. Ooh, another catalyst! Ah, beautiful. Uh, if I could just take all of my catalysts now, thank you very much. And I know there's more in the deck. I know I put them there. Excellent. Alchemize Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion is the AoE that we've desperately been looking for this entire time, right? So, like, Corpse Explosion will expedite floor fights by meaning that I can focus entirely... Well, I mean, with the Noxious Fumes, I'm already focusing entirely on the main target. But this means that I can use Corpse Explosion as a bootstrap for Catalyst and then catalyze that target. Hmm. This is why I didn't want to take Alchemize previously, because Sozu has turned up. And my commitment to only the one card in my deck, the Alchemize. Like, the Alchemize and the Reflex is now both basically dead. Uh, but I'm happy to take Sozu, because the extra energy is so damn important to us. Uh, especially considering Backflip is now the most important card that I can draft. Didn't even need any more than that. Uh, we'll take dash. Singular large offense and singular large defense at the same time seems uh, pretty important here for some reason. Cool. And God, thank you. Catalyst plus Burst, uh, Corpse Explosion are just so damn important for us. Uh, deflect would be good if I had more draw in the deck and less energy, but I have more energy and less draw. So. Uh, I could consider the dash here, just as a pretty powerful individual card by itself. It's another along the line of Leg Sweep, just like a large amount of block. I think I take it. Transform a card, transform a strike, looking for Distraction. Distraction gets pre-upgraded, so yeah, it's fine now. Uh, Apotheosis is already here. There's also Well Laid Plans and Adrenaline both on offer. And I would be five short of being able to take both. Twisted Funnel is the best pickup here. Unfortunately, we're nine short of that. Uh, at the start of each combat, apply four poison to all enemies. I think it might be Well Laid Plans and then removal of one of my worst cards. So, you know, Alchemize at this point. Should have transformed the Alchemize in the previous space as well, by the way. Oh, well. Okay. Then defend Noxious Fumes. No? Wait, what? Oh, not enough energy. Okay. Fine. Uh, just put a Wraith Form in the deck. Sure. If I draw it this turn, it's just safety. Blur, great pickup for us. We oftentimes float a lot of defense on one turn. Oh, yes. Let's get this done. God, I wish I could mulligan away most of this over the hand. All right. Uh, higher HP target. This is the target that we want to be focusing on. Exclusively due to the fact that the higher HP target does its max HP to all enemies at the same time. So it will... Be better with the corpse explosion. All right, so this is a ghost and jar turn, pretty obviously. And it all works out in the end. I'll take my rare relic of ginger. You can only become weakened. That's garbage. Great. Really glad that I gave up as much as I did for that. Uh, none of those are good pickups for us. Well, I suppose probably Expertise is the best. Expertise is the best out of them. Yeah, we can actually get some pretty significant heart draw out of that.
I'm happy to get that first catalyst out there, definitely. Uh, it's also worth noting that the enemy's incoming damage is only five. Sorry. It's only five? Thirteen. Thirteen against seven block. It's only five, right? Why'd that take damage? Tori. Thirteen? Did I not block last turn? Block for seven. Seven, thirteen. Seven, thirteen, five. Did I take... Did I take more than one damage that turn? Tori, what do... Did I... Huh? Something screwy may have gone on there. Or maybe I just completely missed it. That could happen too. Bye. Good kill. And Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. Uh, acrobatics is a pretty good pickup here as well. Smithing while well plans, pretty important. Probably more important than resting for 11 HP. I'll say that at least. Ugh, corpse explosion. So I want to just corpse explode, catalyst, catalyst, the main lines. That's what? Triple, triple, triple is nine. Nine by nine is 81, 81 on a single time. It's pretty good. And then piercing whale dodge and roll. Yeah. Feeling more like maybe I shouldn't have done that one. Okay, so 18 damage. This is 12. I'm, are you kidding me? I'm actually one short of lethal. 12, 7. Nothing else helps us from up in the hand. 12, 7. No, 12, 7. 19. I have lethal. Yeah, I probably should have just played the safe path with the corpse explosion on one of the smaller targets there. I feel bad about that. Second blur is a great pickup, though. Uh, the boot. Whenever you take four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Yeah, fine. I'll take the sapphire key. Boot doesn't mean that much to us at all. So it's not like I'm missing out on anything important in order to take it. One sniff of damage there. Mm-hmm. Really unfortunate they both decided to attack the... Or rather, all three of them decided to attack each turn. Not, uh, not too pleased about that, unfortunately. My god, they really aren't going to let up here. There we go. Whew. My board. I mean, I can't just rest for a full heal, but... That clip. I do have two rests before the end. Okay, maybe I do rest for a full heal here. Uh, remove a strike. Neat. Way more max HP on you, and... Unfortunately, that's actually probably going to be relevant. I can't find poison for the absolute life of me right now. I had two catalysts in hand. I couldn't find poison. I couldn't find the ability to hold anything. Awful. Awfully dreadful.
This burst is earmarked for poison. I haven't found any. Always going to keep this poison. Hmm. I'm concerned if I throw away this burst, I just definitely lose. Because this burst represents my ability to double catalyst on a turn like this. both of those yeah okay we can get through this apparently and there's the catalyst beautiful Whew. very very pleased that i held that burst question card future card wars have one digital card shoes from neat uh mm, uh catalyst so that i stop drawing them all in the wrong order constantly Well, that's footwork is the problem. I want to take Lee's Waffle just to make me better against the final boss, but I take footwork 100% of the time here. Uh, and here I almost certainly upgrade the footwork as well. Sadly. If I want to win this floor. Distraction is not a... Great card, yikes. Yeah. 14 more poison on the target that is invariably going to be chosen for corpse explosion. It's, it's great. It's fine. Totally good and cool and natural. Mm hmm. Now, this is something I worry about. We'll be taking a fair bit of damage this turn. Yeah, 16 total there. Thankfully, now we've won the fight. All right, so the first fight only took about 20 of my HP from me. The problem is this is our best combat. No corpse explosion? I forgot to play it. I actually forgot to play a corpse explosion. Well, now I'm terrified. You know that uh, all that cockiness has suddenly melted away. Nightmare, there is... No catalyst left in my deck. There's a catalyst left in my draw file, though. Mm-hmm. Yes, this could have been handled significantly better. I make no contest against that. I thought I did it. I'm in Nightmare the Deadly Poison. Now you use the Deadly Poison. Next turn, my goal is just Deadly Poison, Deadly Poison, Deadly Poison. And then wait, hopefully, for Catalyst. My god. Oh, three poison at the start of the turn. We got him. Okay. So it only cost us four more HP to screw up awfully. But at the very least, 
at the absolute least. Now I know I'm not going to do worse than that, right? I can't. I physically cannot. <sighs> Good lord. I can't believe we're going to get the A20. Well, I mean, probably going to get the A20 win. I'm not going to say we will. But can't believe we're very likely to get the A20 win despite all of that. That is really good. And I'll hold Catalyst and Blur. Nightmare Catalyst, and that is just a insta kill of a target, and I even get to hold the extras. Uh, this takes 22 damage off the field. Worth doing. Good thing we'd actually played Corpse Explosion that time. Mm-hmm. Burst, oh my god, Burst has saved my next hand. Not just Fumes is gonna be way too slow to ever be important. I'll keep piercing whale for the exact right turn, I think. He dies, comes back to life this turn. I've got a bouncing flask. It's just Oh no! That's my that's my laundry alarm, so I need to go check on that in just a bit. There are no other catalysts in the deck at this point. Yeah, they're all in the draw pile. So I need to make some use out of the catalyst that I have access to. Which means I have to wait for the bouncing class to go off before I can really catalyze here. And I suspect again. Oh my god. Footwork backflip. Now the bouncing flask here, and then I hold on to those, but catalyst and acrobatics. And now I'm just looking for as many catalysts as I can get as quickly as possible. Come on, lethal. Another catalyst. Come on. Draw me into catalyst, damn it. <laughs> so I can double deadly poison. Okay, so the enemy goes to 14. 14 above what they currently are is uh, 42. 42 is 100. Yeah, we've got lethal. Got him. And that is our silent 820. So, I upgraded a card before the final boss. I upgraded Footwork. Footwork, as it turns out, likely did not make the difference. That is to say, the Footwork upgrade likely did not make the difference uh, as to whether or not we would have gotten to the heart. So this time, I shouldn't have gone for the upgrade and instead should have gone for the rest. Oh, well. For the moment, though, my name is Ben Rhapsody, the name of the game. Has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully, you've been enjoying yourselves, and hopefully, we will see you next time.